Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're gonna to add classes with D3. So using a lot of inline styles on HTML elements gets hard to manage even for smaller apps. It's easier to add a class to elements and style that class one time using CSS rules. D3 has the ATTR method to add any HTML attribute to an element, including a class name. The ATTR method works the same way that style does. It takes a comma separated values, comma separated values. So your class, this is key, uh, comma separated by and a container and uh, and can use a callback function here's an example to add a class of container to a selection uh, note that the class parameter will remain the same whenever you need to add a class and only the container parameter will change so add attr method to the code in the editor and put a class of bar on the div elements hmm interesting so yeah here we're just saying this is the D3. We've got our select. We're entering it. We're appending a div, and we want to say uh, attr because the selection we've already have. The selection is this section, and here we're just going to add class, and uh, here we're going to add a bar, which is yeah. They always do this thing called foo bar uh, in coding, and I'm not really sure. I think it's like a f. Fubar is the military thing from World War II. Um, anyways, bar is a style here. And then um, here, what we're doing is we're create, we're, we're selecting the body and we're selecting, the all, selecting all the bodies, which means we're just getting one. We're grabbing the data set, which is this guy, which means we've got 12, 31, 22, 17. We're entering, we're appending for each of the elements a div of with the attribute of uh, class is equal to bar. And if we were to inspect here, um, yeah, right click I, and then you come into the elements here. You'll see that it's adding a class of bar with each of these guys. And so this is the kind of the tricky thing that the one that kind of slips by in this one is that we're adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these blue bars. And they're just itched across here. And you can see, as I add the first one's the first one and the second one, so, you, so they go like this. So we just have a bunch of bars that are the equal height. And so we're actually close to making a bar graph now because we can change something uh, in the future. So that's probably what we'll be doing next. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you in the next lesson.